you know, I'm always down for roughing it. But there are certain things in this world that we don't have to rough it. We could actually make something a little more easier, sorry, more easier, a little easier, but also more efficient. You know, when you're at camp, you know, one of the things you have to do is brush your teeth, wash your hands, maybe wash your face, clean your dishes. Well, how often do you do that without having a sink? I mean, yeah, we have wash basins and stuff like that. And, you know, oftentimes I'll take my jerry can full of water and prop it up on top of my tailgate. But how messy is it to sit there and try to wash your hands and how wasteful is that water and yeah i could go get a spout and everything but you know it's still messy it's still putting all that water you know pretty much an area where i stand yeah i could put it on a table but i still need something to catch that water because i don't really want my puddles of water sitting around my camp or around a table so this is a a uh it's a prep table to cleaning fish and I was trying to think of a way to like incorporate a sink with with camping and so this Nobo trailer has like a little wash basin but it really isn't very user friendly so I went on Amazon actually I went to a, one of these big box stores that specialize in hunting and I found a, a table where you can clean fish at least that's what its intended purpose was. But I found this guy on Amazon and uh, I'll put the link to my Amazon affiliate store where you can actually pick up the same table and I'll give all the dimensions for it. But essentially, it makes washing your hands, washing dishes, washing anything super easy. It's, it's pretty much just like one of those Rubbermaid tables. It's got really sturdy legs, a sturdy steel frame. Now, the one thing that I really like about it is how tall this thing is. The table's at 37 half inches in height. It's 45 inches wide and a little over 23 inches in width. So if you check out the basin, it is roughly two and a half inches deep. It's got a drain. It has all of the channels. So if you were cleaning fish or if you're just doing food prep and you have water over here and you want it to drain into the basin, you have that. So my idea is for this trailer, I have a spray connection here. So when I bought this trailer, it came in one box. You have to assemble the drain you have to uh, assemble the faucet area. It comes with this, with this pipe, with this stainless steel braided piping, and then I have this for my trailer. This coiled, this coiled hose. So any standard hose fitting fit right there. Now, just for for transportation, I, I took it apart. But as you can see, it's got a double little rubber gasket in there. Push that in there evenly. Tighten this bad boy up. Very easy to take apart. Drain hose. And to to catch all the water that's in here, all you have to do is extend this out. Goes straight into the bucket. Where the drain also comes a little plug, a rubber plug. Let's see if we can do this with one hand. But this is how easy it is. Super easy, huh? Want to plug up the hole? Wash your dishes right here. You can put a towel down there to dry. 
Now say you didn't have a hose connection, you could do this too. Right? So if I want to wash my hands right there, I mean I technically could do that, couldn't I? I'll just let that drain out. But look, no mess, no nothing. Let's see how these channels work. Yeah, when you overflow the channels, then it spills out. But not bad. Hey, thanks for watching the video. If you're interested in this this fish cleaning table, or, or I like to call it an overlanding table, if you're interested in this table, definitely go down to the link below. And you'll see it's to my Amazon my Amazon affiliate account. There's no additional cost to you. It helps the channel if you do purchase any qualifying products on the link. Uh, this table cost me about ninety nine dollars, and I would say it's just as sturdy as any other Rubbermaid table. And for me, I am a little on the taller side, so I'm at six foot, and I think it's a perfect height for me. My wife, she's five eight, and she says it was perfect height also. So, uh, go and check it out. And you know what? Thanks again for watching. I'll see you on the next one.